Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Paula. I do cleaning and cooking on a budget. I do decluttering, decorating on a budget. So today we're gonna do lots and lots of cleaning motivation. We're gonna do my entire house just about, and I'm gonna show you how to do Easter baskets on a dime for your kids. So let's get into it. And if you like, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Thanks. Hey guys, I thought I would do a little grocery haul for you guys so you can see what I buy. I went to ShopRite and I'm not going to tell you everything what it is. You guys can see some of this stuff is like pantry restock, like mini chocolate chips, more chocolate chips. Um, I got a bunch of cereal, baking soda. I use this for my laundry and for cooking. So I buy a big thing I need to restock that in my pantry and snacks you know for the kids I got some fresh veggies and fruits here um and like I said I'm not going to say everything because you guys can pretty much see um a lot of this stuff was on sale I like to eat these in the morning with a yogurt for my breakfast because I'm trying to lose weight of course sugar cereal for the kids they love it this was on sale at ShopRite for a really good deal, $1.49. So I grabbed a couple boxes of cereal. This is Dollar Tree stuff for my son's birthday tonight. We're going to celebrate his birthday. And just some canned goods. Some freezer bags. Laundry soap. Um, cheeses. Got some vitamin C drops. And just some pantry restock stuff just to fill up the pantry a little bit more. Ranch, syrup, taco kits, more canned goods, my laundry beads. And that's pretty much it. This is enough to last us. Um, I pretty much had a lot of meats already. I just needed, like I said, the pantry restock. So this is pretty much uh, enough for a couple of weeks for us. Except for the fresh stuff. We have to buy that every week. But yeah. And this was... Um, like I said, I got meats in here. I got a a roast and a couple packs of hamburger. I got some kibasi and stuff like that. So it was like 300 bucks, but it's for two weeks. So it's averaging out about 150 to feed a family of six. So it's not too bad. These are Jordan and Noah. And these are little goodie baskets I made for them. Day. I went to the dollar store and I got little little goodies that they love. Slime. I got the same thing for each one, um, except for the candy is a little different because Noah likes the Noah likes these happy cola things, and then Jordan likes the peach rings. So that's the only thing that's different, but it's all the same uh, stuff. Bubbles. And there's some taffies and their chips in here. Cotton candy. These are just little ideas that you guys can get for Easter from the Dollar Dollar Tree. If you want and you don't have a lot of, you know, a lot of money to spend. A few little things like this for Easter. I think each each thing, including the little basket, costs probably about seven dollars. So that's not too bad. So $15 for both kids. This is just an idea for Easter baskets. Of course, this is just for them for today. I wanted to, we haven't been, been doing much lately and going out too much lately. So I wanted to just do something nice for them um, and just have a little treats for them when they come home from school today. So hope you guys can get some good ideas from this and some motivation. Like I said, this is definitely on a budget. This is the cutest little Easter basket too. It could be. And you don't even need to waste your money buying the hay for a dollar or whatever it is. You can just stick it in here like this and it's perfectly fine. All right, I hope you guys get some motivation off of this. And I, I did write their names on each one. So there you go. Even if 
from falling down I will keep on searching for my highs You can say I lost my mind I will keep on holding my head high Even if the sky is falling down Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down <laughs> Even if the sky is falling down Life is a winding road No telling where it goes Driving through days and nights Won't stop for traffic lights And I I really wanna know, really wanna know If I will ever figure out Falling down, I will keep on searching for my highs. You can say I lost my mind, I will keep on holding my head high. Even if the sky is falling down. Jumping from cliffs so high Trusting our wings to fly Sometimes we're crashing down But we get up and start from the ground Trash can. Doing a fire scrub and disinfect on the trash can because it needs to be done at least once or twice a week in my house with my kids.
Even if the sky is falling down It's, you know, yucky, and I'm going to scrub it out, and I'm going to show you before and after. Wow. So the broom worked a little bit for getting, like, this, you know, the high-up places and the crevices in the corner, but I have to say I had to get some SOS pads and some other cleanser and scrub pretty hard to get all of that soap scum, but I am so impressed. Like I said, I do this at least once a week, but I let it go this week a little bit longer than normal just because I wasn't feeling good for a couple of days. But I'm back at it, and even though I had to do a lot of scrubbing. But the broom, like I said, does work if you're just doing a light cleaning and you wanna just scrub it out a little bit before the soap scum gets as bad as mine did. <laughs> but like I said, that was only a week and a half of not cleaning it. So, um, so there you go, guys. Um, just a little bit of elbow grease and some scrubbing and it looks almost new again. I'm very happy with the results. SOS pads and some Comet and some Dawn spray and it looks good. I hope you guys get lots of motivation off of this. Hey everyone, thank you so much for watching. I hope that you guys got lots of motivation off of this and if you could please subscribe if you haven't already and give it a thumbs up. Thank you.